All right, hi Dilly Holy Universe. You saw him running for a bit in that cutscene. And that's about it. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like I needed to keep that in there. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in there. I don't know. Might might as well do it. Might as well. Might as well do it. Um So yeah, we are back in Delmasca and we are alone. Bosch has left the party, Balthier has left the party. And we have to head to Miguelos. Now, usually what I do, and I accidentally turn on quick speed mode, which is actually good because I need to go fast. Um, usually what I do when I have Bosch as a guest is I usually go for the hunts. But sadly, I do not do that this time, because I don't feel like doing it. Vaughn, is it really you? I heard you got took off to Nalbina. The Imperials will need more than a dungeon to stop me. You broke out of a dungeon? Whoa! Hey, try and keep it down, would you? Pinello isn't around, is she? Out on a delivery, maybe? Nope, haven't seen her all day. Not like her to up and skip out on work like that. Miguelo's not here either. He went running off somewhere a little while ago. So much for my big welcome. I guess everybody's busy. I got my hands full watching the shop, and old Dallin had something for me to do, but I can't get away. Old Dallin, huh? Tell you what, I'll go see him for you. Really? Well, nothing better to do. Well, let's go do what we said we're gonna do. Let's go visit Old Dallin. Yes, it is me, Old Dallin. Ah, Von Rutspain. Yes, Von Rutspain. Haha, <laughs> me boy. I love Old Dallin. He's the greatest. I can't do his voice, but he's, he's the greatest. Ah, me boy. It's me, Old Dallin. Let me tell you something, Old Rutspain. You will find yourself in the Dalmaskin dungeon if you get caught. I love him. He's great. I believe this is the way to Old Downs without checking my map. And yes, it is. There he is. Old Downs place. Well, well, look who we have here. Heard you were sent off to Nalpina. And I got out of there as fast as I could. But it was all worth it, Dallin. Here, look at this. My, 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 quite a treasure you've got there. Well, you know, I couldn't have done it without your help. So, there is more to this gutter churl than first meets the eye. Van Ivanaren, a simple favor to beg of you. I was going to ask that kites to go, but I should think that you ought to do. No. No, I think you're just the one. There's a fellow by the name of Azalas, and I need you to bring this sword to him. That's... that's a sword of the old order. Speak my name when you arrive. That should be enough to get you in to see him. I've made a note on your map showing you where he can be found. Mind you, you are to deliver the sword to him personally. I will. Hey, Dallin. Do you think I could get you to do something for me? I need you to find out where Pinello is. I wanted to show her what I got from the palace, but I haven't been able to find her anywhere. Can you let me know if you hear anything? You can just leave that to me. Thanks, Dallin. And so it is done. But will it be enough to remind him of what the Order once meant? I wish Old Dallin was in this game more. I think this is the last time you actually get a cutscene with Old Dallin. Which is disappointing. And depressing. I thought there was something in that corner.
Um, but what he gave us was the Mithril Blade, I believe. Ah, but we don't have it in our inventory yet. But I love how he's like, No, you're just the one. <laughs> then to Vaughn, it's like, this is a simple, like, sword delivery. Why, why, why are you making this sound more epic than it is? Because it is more epic than it is. It's the Blade of the Old Order. Wrong area. Does rapid speed make people dizzy? <laughs> Cause I hope it doesn't. I was supposed to deliver something to a man named Aslis. This is the place, right? And who was it? Uh who was it told you that? Old Dallin. He said I have uh, to give this to him personally. Does nothing get past that Dallin? He's he has ears in every wall. All right, get inside, but not a word of what you see or hear in this place, or in there, I should say. It's the same thing. You got that. What do you make of Andor's proclamation? Are you suggesting they fooled even the Marquis? What if a judge killed the king, not the captain? That would explain everything, wouldn't it? In that case, the captain would be brother to a judge. How are we to trust such a man? Huh? Now there is the Bosch that I remember. Then will you fight again at my side? His word alone convinces me of nothing. I'd take his word over that of a mouthpiece Marquis. Then you name Rex liar with him. My brother was no liar! <sighs> Just the opposite. Rex was the witness they needed. They had to make it appear as if I killed the king. Rex bears no blame. The fates have willed it. So this is Rex's brother. <sighs> Your words may convince a child such as this, but they weigh far too lightly on the scales for my taste. Our paths will remain separate. Do you not think Amalia worth saving? I hold men's lives in my hands. I must see foes in every shadow. The night we moved against Vane, he knew. I will not chance such disadvantage again. I must treat you as I would Ondor, as I would treat any of better of the Empire. Then what will you do? Hold me here in chains? Some things never change, do they? Listen to me, Bosh. Your cage may have no bars, but it is a cage. The eyes of the Resistance watch unblinking. Let them watch. I know something of cages. That's right. Amalia's in the Resistance. Then you know her. Sorta. We met just before we got sent to Nalbina. I've known nicer people. Our paths keep crossing yours and mine. It's more than coincidence. It's annoying. I'm sorry. Allow me one last annoyance, a favor to ask. I want you to take me to both here. Even caged birds need wings. This makes us even. Even? For Nalbina. We couldn't have done it without you. But technically, he couldn't escape without us either, so... I don't know where Vaughn's getting this even thing. But yeah, Boss joins the party, and... I love that whole conversation. I love that he's like, Your cage may not have balls, but it is still a cage. I, I love it. I love everything about this game oh my god I'm so happy that I'm playing it <laughs> all right so now Bosch is a warrior he is a strong fighter and he might be better suited for the uh, knight class by the way he joins your party Permanently, uh, he, he might be more suited for the night class. No, 
or the uh what's that class called the foe breaker class which is true he is more suited for those classes the knight and the foe breaker he may even be more suited for the bushi but because I do things wacky and I like doing things weird I'm gonna make him a white mage <laughs> now you're probably questioning what the fuck are you doing a white mage he's got low magic stats listen we played this game as long as I have doesn't matter doesn't matter does not matter. You're probably saying, well, it does matter. Well, yeah, it does. It does matter. But, because I'm pretty damn good, it won't matter. We're just gonna fill out his license board right now. Yep. So, let's get him that, and that, because he's a white mage, he's going to actually need some gambits. Accessory level two. Yeah, let's get this battle lore. Why not? Why not? Oh, let's get a couple more gambits. Let's hold off right now until I get to look at a shop. Alright, so actually let's check his stats. Yeah, his magic power is average compared to Vaughn's. His attack power is actually one of the highest. Which, yeah, if you were playing to their stats, Foe Breaker or Knight would actually be your best stat for him. I think the best person to make a White Mage is actually Pinello. Or another character we'll meet. Our last party member. Let's go talk to Old Dalen really quickly, see if he knows anything about Pinello. Oh, so you found the captain, I see. Where Pinnell has run off to, though, I will, hmm. A sky prayer, you say. This is news to me, but if you, but if I know my sky pirates, I can venture a guess to as, venture a guess as to where his whereabouts, getting a drink and a meal should, I should think. So yeah, he still cannot find Pinello. There's a very good reason for that. Open a sesame. Yeah, so it's actually very dumb to make Bosch a white mage, but because I play this game so many times, I can't even count. Um I can basically do whatever and I'll be fine. But that's the beauty of the Zodiac system is that um, even though I'm not a fan of it because I like having everybody know white magic so everybody can heal. Um, it is more customizable. And actually let's check these shops really quickly. I'm not going to buy a new sword because the Mithril Blade. 
but we may buy Balthier Rod. And actually, do you know, fun fact, Fran is actually the best person to make a gun person. In the old games, at least. I don't know about this game, I haven't checked her stats in this game, but it's because of her... It's like her low attack stat is the reason why. I never quite got why. Silver bow, okay. So... Yeah. All right. Gonna have to buy. This is basically gonna be a restocking episode of me buying stuff. But first, we gotta go get. A lot of kids lost their parents in the war. Mine. Mine had already died before that. The plague took them both. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. It's been five years now. After that, I lived with my friend Pinello and her family. Then... Then the war came. I am sorry. You don't have to keep apologizing. Really, it's all right. I know it wasn't your fault. I see that now. You didn't kill my brother. It was the Empire. My brother trusted you. And he was right. I always thought Vaughn was too quick to trust Bosch. Right there. I wish they would have had that build up over time. But then again, people already complain about Vaughn, and then that would make him parallel to. Um, that would make him parallel to uh, Hope in Final Fantasy XIII, and people would complain about him too. As I said, a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? What I am understanding is it's a Pinello because of you. What? What about Pinello? Oh, Vaughn. They've taken Pinello. And there was a note. A note for this Balthier. Come to the Museum of Mines, it said. It's Begamnon. He was in Nalbana. If anything were to happen to that sweet child, why, I have her parents' memory to consider. You're going to go to her aid, and that's that. That's what you Sky Pirates do, isn't it? I don't respond well to orders. You do know that the Imperial fleet is massing at Bujerba. Fine, then I'll go. You at least have an airship, don't you? Just get me there, and I'll find Pinello myself. I'll join you. Huh? I have some business there as well. An audience with a Marquis by chance? Both here. Just take us, and this is yours. The gods are toying with us. Uh, make yourselves ready. We leave soon. Right. And Fred and both here have rejoined the party. I love Fred's line there. The gods are toying with us. Because <laughs> that's the whole reason why they went to Dalmasca. And he's like, and they're like, we don't want to go there because there's a whole bunch of dangerous shit there. And he's like, this will be yours if you take me there. God damn it. Now we have to go because both here is going to accept anyways now. But Gammon and can only uh, be referring to the Lucila... Mines in Bajerba. We leave at once. When you're ready, meet me at the Aerodome. Or meet me in the Aerodome. I should imagine it's still by the West Gate. We weren't uh, in Nalbana all that long. Uh, do be quick. I'd like to save your girl and be rid of this headache as soon as possible. So yeah, he's basically like, let's get this done.
But yeah, first we're gonna buy some magics and some items. Probably gonna end up doing the rest of the buying of stuff off screen. But that's just because. First of all, we should sell. Why don't we sell that stuff off screen too? This way. Just really turn off forever when I'm trying to go somewhere. No, it's not this way. It's uh dish way. No, it's not. It's maybe we should just check the map. It's this way. Stop getting stuck! <laughs> And I believe this store should be open now. It's the Gambit store. It sells limited edition Gambit comics. Alright. And we want all these. I always buy all the Gambit stuff. Alright, we did not jump cup. I just did this. Well, actually, I guess you can call it a jump cut, but uh, I just went all the way off here off camera. I did not get every gamba in the store because I just realized I don't have that much money. Um, I'm used to having a bunch of money at this point in the game and having a bunch of materials I can sell, but I forgot. Also, by the way, we have new bizarre goods because I sold all our junk material. But as for right now, um, we are buying stuff. Short bow. We want that silver bow, so. Oop, wrong button. I'm so used to pause being for everything. Which, by the way. Boop, boop, boop. Actually, boop. License board. I'm going to assume I'm going to need this soon, along with this. And for you, I think I have everything I need for you. Okay. Okay, so let's look here. Silver bow. We only want one of those, not two. Didn't let me equip it though. That was weird. Um. Hmm. Just want to see something. It's the mithril sword. Actually, stronger than our iron sword. No, wrong person. It is not. Um, see, the Mithril Sword is a sword that anybody can use. Um, but it is not a good sword. Actually, does it have anything? No, it doesn't have any extra stats or anything. You know what, let's use it for a little while. Just for shits and gigs. Um, let's buy Basharad. Now, it will be better for Bosh to have the Mithril Sword, but at the same time, we have it on White Mage. Might as well get the Rod. I think the Rod actually helps with magic. And now we want to equip you with the Silver Bow. Just want to check that really quickly. Yes, it actually does help him with his magic power, so that is actually the better weapon for him right now, for what we're using him for. Um, let's head over to the 
equipment shop. See if there's anything new over there. Um, what there is, is there's new armor for Bosch. Equip that. People who play this game a lot are cringing right now. Cringing! Because I'm using Bosch as a white mage. But I don't care. I don't care. All the crap you're not using. It's good lifestyle to live by. And by the way, the reason why I'm selling the shields is because when we get our party members later, they'll just be other stores. And that's about it. Um, this is going to be it for this episode. Next time we are going to be going on hunts. We're not going to be progressing the story just yet. Uh, oh man, big stretch. Um, also, I am going to do some stuff off camera right now. Um, such as license and gambits. All that fun stuff. Um, I know I should show you guys that on screen, but I will just show you guys in the beginning of the next episode. So, like for your comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!